Neon Future Sessions. We are diving into the future. Artificial intelligence, nanotechnology, singularity, immortality, androids, unraveling the mystery of the brain. Okay. I'm excited to see where technology and humanity are gonna be converging. I've talked to scientists, philosophers, writers. You know, all those questions are exciting for me to think about. The future is intriguing. It's like a snake shedding its skin. I could blame one person that opened the doorway into this idea of a utopian neon future, and that's Ray Kurzweil. Well, a futurist tries to predict the future, and I have a particular methodology which really does work. I made predictions based on that in 1981, and now we're in 2014, and we're right on the money as to where that trend should be. He talks about singularity, humanity and technology will come together to a point where we will have no idea, no idea what's gonna happen because it's gonna be so explosive. My main thesis is that information technology, not everything, but information technology progresses exponentially, basically doubles in power every year. And that's not intuitive because our intuition is that progress is linear. And to demonstrate the power of that, if I take 30 steps linearly, that's our intuition. One, two, three, four, five, I get to 30. If I take 30 steps exponentially, one, two, four, I get to a billion. Your smartphone is a several billion times more powerful per dollar than the computer I used when I was a student at MIT. It's also shrinking in size. My smartphone is 100,000 times smaller than that computer. It'll be the size of a blood cell in 25 years. Makes sense, doesn't it? I mean, look around you and think back when you had to pull your antenna from your phone to answer that call from your mom. Your phones are gonna be embedded inside your ears. It comes in steps, so you already have technologies like Oculus Rift. That gives you a pretty realistic, full immersion virtual reality experience. Go to the 2030s, it'll actually be inside the nervous system. You'll have computers that feed your brain directly from your nervous system. In fact, we'll send intelligent machines through our body, augmenting our immune system basically resisting all disease. That's mind-blowing. So we will, in the 2030s, be a hybrid of our biological thinking with our biological brain and non-biological thinking. But the non-biological part is subject to my law of accelerating returns, meaning it will double in power every year. Our biological thinking is, is fixed. Go on to 2045, and the non-biological part of our intelligence will be a billion times more powerful than the biological part. And that's such a profound change that we borrow this metaphor from physics and call it a singularity, meaning we can't fully understand all the consequences. You can imagine easily a lot of negative scenarios and you only have to look at sort of all the movies which are dystopian uh, where the computers and robots have it in for us. I have a somewhat different perspective in that I don't think it's going to be us versus them because I think we're going to merge with these technologies and we're going to become enhanced with these technologies and that's why we create these tools, is to make ourselves greater. We're the only species that seeks to change ourselves. We basically create these tools to extend our own reach. You know, a thousand years ago I couldn't reach that fruit, that higher branch, so I fashioned a tool to extend my physical reach. We are going ethereal. And I am a spiritual person. So when Ray talks about evolution as a spiritual process, it's intriguing. People use the word God, which I think is a metaphor that means unlimited in intelligence and in love and creativity, beauty. And so what happens in evolution? Well, we see that entities get more intelligent, more creative, more beautiful, becoming more godlike. So evolution is a spiritual process. Thank you guys for watching and please be sure to subscribe.